aim that and wave at anyone where you say that I'm a lame take them place and upgrade that so they might get paid with that chum change that yeah. 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 Too much wine and too much blood Yeah, yeah. yeah. Next down Hip hop Jamaican hip hop grind alternative some some artists. Yeah man, this is Fire Raya yeah. from Kingston, Jamaica. I just grew up with a house full of women that love music. Like the radio was never off. Never. Period. Easy. Me. So that was that and then like I was just like hearing and learning all the songs on the radio, you get me? And then like over time we started to like remix them into my songs. And then like I learned how to count bars and how to like put like rhymes and cadences together like when I was 12 or some shit. So it was just always there, you get me? Right, literally always there. Whether I wanted to or not. So it was just like that. I don't know, I'm a girl like a typical Jamaican youth, mom. <laughs> church in that? Except the church part. Okay. <laughs> I was never in church quite. I wasn't one of them ones like, oh, I was in the church. My first place of music was in the church. Ra, ra, ra. No, my first place of music was in the house, my nigga. You get me? My grandmother used to like, love being the one. I knew all the words to all the songs. Like, Ah, the rest of all our favorite butcher songs, then Bounty Killer, Sizzler, um, all of them, like literally Beanie, all of them, they get me, and then like the Celine Dion, just everyone was going crazy. Was, there was a Celine Dion craze, there's still a Celine Dion craze for some reason in this place, but yeah, like music was just always there, literally. And like, you just get to a point where we decide to say, oh, no, I want to know something like that. Yeah. I'm gonna remember where it got to. Mm. But I'm not gonna sing it, it's super embarrassing. I was like 12. Yeah, some crazy shit. We read me the remix one. I remixed that and um, I miss the Elliot song. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, give me something. No. No, <laughs> nah, <ain't> never. <laughs> no one there for the archives forever. Mm. You see me? Everything sort of happened kind of organic. It's like I just came in the you know, Kingston music scene, I didn't know anyone. Period. Like, no. A couple people know me from this um, mixtape I did, Audio Therapy. But there wasn't a face to the name. They just like had the songs on their phones and stuff. You get me? So then like, I started to just go to the open mics around the place. And just like networking. And like, meeting other artists. From meeting artists that like got studio access, studio access meant engineers, engineers meant producers, producers meant other artists, and then it just falls over, <laughs> repeats itself, forget me. So that's what happened, and like over time, I met a couple of producers, Kingston based, he gave me on namely Teflon, SOS, uh, Space Age, or stuff, Natural High, a couple other people. Just like doing this, working on this album, been working on it for the past three and a half years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be mad. We're there. My studio, secret location, up a peak, don't know a thing up. Next to what? Blue Mountain. You get me? We got Georgia in the same way. All of Romania, all of London, same way. Ah. Tell me a little bit about this place. Why, why do you like this place? First of all, the engineers are. I can't curse. First of all, the engineers are genius, like brainiac type genius, like Einstein thing. You get me? Like he gets vocals and how to like 
get everything proper he has it down to a science especially my sound you get me like he knows exactly what i'm going for he knows like what i want like like i'm going to the booth right now and just like mumble some shit and like he would get the idea and like just know what my lip on and be like okay this is what you're trying to do and then like just make it happen so like chemistry is super important there's just this instant chemistry since I came here the first time in what, 2015? Yeah. Is it me? Yeah. Yeah. Like instant, instant chemistry, you get me? So, yeah, that's why. Like just energy, you get me? Like I take energy super seriously, like extremely seriously. If me and you know vibe, it's just like, it's whatever. You get me? But if me and you vibe, then we'll vibe and then go maintain constant positive vibration she's just here and i come here and i'm never leaving disappointed everything always sounds perfect you get me you know, like, it got to a point where i could just be here to just be here like you know mood leaving off your record i could just like be here just smoking or reasoning or just making songs with the intention for come back and record them but one way or the other they're being done here so i've been working on a couple of tracks over the years and we're gonna put together the nine best and give you under it. Every damn song I'm a rhyme in all bars that are mighty. Bang bang that are mighty. Check the interaction from my IG. I do not fuck with your vibe. Underrated the color, underrated. Alright, watch this. You turn on the radio. Alright, you turn on the TV or whatever. And then it's like. The first thing you see is what you're supposed to listen to or see like oh this is what you're supposed to like here boom but then like you go up on youtube or any other streaming platform or whatever the case may be and you find say some of the most talented people like some of the most awesome music in comparison to what's mainstream they're like way less known you're getting completely underrated and it's like I just wanted to embody that with this project and be like, look how awesome this is from the completely underrated. Like, this is what the underdog can do. In a sense of saying, like, the underdog shouldn't be the underdog type vibes. You get me? Because then it's like, as me say, you turn on the radio or the TV and then you see just a bunch of stuff that they're cool, but it's almost safe to say they're being forced on you you get me they're not there because you like them and then they got there they're just there and then over time you end up like them because of repetition you get me but then when you like search stuff out on your own the things that you find 95 percent of the time you'll like them more like so much more but they're not mainstream and then it invokes the question why so i wanted to invoke that question more with this project and get people thinking about it and then like appreciate the underrated a lot more. I'm gonna make sure and take back anything you want me to say. So if I say that, me I kill this beat, they wanna say that. Man, aim that and wave at anyone where I say that. I'm a lame, take them place and upgrade that. So they I get paid with that, so I'm change that. Yeah. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah. I know it ain't go. You see me? Fire Royal. I'm there in a Kingston, Jamaica. I don't know it ain't go. Bang, bang. Sicker than the average influenza. Also sicker than your average influenza. Listen to me a couple bars on my spit in seconds. My lift for this, so I go hard trying to hit the record. That's what this is all about. Bro, like, my have songs on this thing. I got a song on there, one of my favorites. Give them hell. And it sounds like. Rock music and trap had a baby. It's Zimmy. And like, the creativity behind the whole thing is just like the next level. Like, as far left from Jamaican as you could possibly think, in terms of the content, the content and like the context thereof. So I'm gonna say. And that's just the whole point. It's like, why play to. The stereotypes but like oh you're Jamaican so do either dancer or reggae and if you're doing dance it should sound like this 
and have these concepts and if you're doing reggae it should sound like this and you should be talking about these things what about the other guys you get me so i just got to thinking about that and like that's what my mind's at right now there's a lot of us only real niggas beside me This, it's not like saying underrated and being like, oh, boo hoo. You get me? It's more like, it's more like a pride thing. Mm -hmm. You get me? Like, yeah. You get me? So it's like, it's more of a ego stroke more than a complaint or a self comparison in a sense where we are trying to show you, say, yo. This is what we can do. Like, look at what we can do. Is it me? So it's like, like recently I tweeted, like, that's ghetto, like air quote, like quote unquote, that's ghetto is not a compliment. Is it me? Cause like people would be like, oh yeah, that's ghetto. And then like, it's, it was supposed to be like some kind of insult, like oh, less than type vibes. But then like, from the best, from the worst comes the best, innit? And then like, you will go to these places where I quote unquote ghetto and, sm and find like some of the smartest people, like some of the most brilliant people and most capable people, or like people who are gonna be the next biggest thing in a whatever field where them decide. You get me? So it's like it's not a it's not an insult. You get me? You got like rich people, billionaires all over the world, like flexing like us ghetto people, whatever. You get me? So. It's the same mentality behind it when we say underrated. She's like, when other people go underrated artists, they just leave it like, oh yeah, you're not mainstream or you're not the biggest thing, rah, rah, rah. But when I go underrated, in my mind, I'm, go I'm going like, I'm saying to you like, yo, you're a lot sicker than whatever is on the radio right now. I rate you, I respect you, big up you. You get me? And it's like, that's the vibe. It's not like, oh, poor you. It's more like, yeah, do your thing, my guy. You get me? And it goes right back to what you were saying about social media and about the fact, the fact that everybody can like create their own lanes and have like their own people and do their own thing. You get me? And that's what it's all about. It's an embodiment of that. So I'm like, in a sense, taking back the definition of underrated and like taking it from down here to up here. You get me? Acknowledging the fact that underrated artists are a lot better than what's being forced on you. You get me? And I feel like anybody can say that. Think about any artist where you would have considered underrated. And think about the fact that you actually rate that artist. And think about how much you rate that artist. That's the point I'm trying to make, guys. You get me? Dragons and vipers and bears. But man, a man so who cares about some wolves? Yeah. Now ask my business if you're not in the business. Now shot your ching ching, the cost no shifting. Need to pay for the gas, not the car, me switch me. My whole existence kind of priceless, it's all expensive. Like, you got songs like the opening track is called One Day. Then, like, One Day is just about, like, manifestation like self-projection and shit, you get me? It's like, oh, this is what I want. It's, it's kind of like a mantra, basically. It's like, set the mind frame, setting a mind frame, like, okay, this is what I want, this is what I want, and this is what needs to be done to get there, and this is the plan, and then like, going on with it, you see me? And then like, you will go from that to songs like, Who Vex? where they talk about things like that same box where everyone's like yo if me the music we need to do it like this or like one out of these two things and i need to do it like like these like these things like this is the blueprint i gotta do it like this guy over here because it's working for him and then like the song who vex is like anti that i'm calling out people that do stuff like that you know it's like a wake-up call to say yo be original dog you get me? It's like it may seem impossible, but it's very, very much possible. Whoever you are trying to copy, think about the fuck so you copy them. You get me? 
why not be someone to be copied instead of copying someone? That's what that's about. And then like, he just goes from bare things, but like mainly it's about the versatility, it's about the sounds, it's about like the formation of the tracks and like how they all fall into each other. And like each song is a build up to the next track. And like by the time you get to the middle, to the end or whatever, or as you go through, if you really pay attention, you'll notice like the sequence and how in sync everything is. You get me? If you were to play the first track and then play the last track, everything would sound like far left. But like play it right through, you see the the like the build up and then like then you realize it's the same thing. You get me? Just like done differently. Just this, either complete quiet and just the beat or good energy in the room, like the right people. If there's people around, it has to be the right people. I'm like, yes people. I'm like, yes men or like, yes women or whatever. Like, have a mind of your own, be critical. If, if something sucks, tell me it sucks. You get me? I'm like, I got like, if there are people around, there are a bunch of critical thinkers, they got good ears, so if something sounds off the slightest, they're gonna call me out and be like, yo dog, fix that. You get me? But like otherwise, it's like I just need a spliff and to like and to like actually like the beat and then it's over. Yeah. From a place where greatness isn't expected, especially if you're planning to set a legacy. But my destiny is something that you cannot take from me. Homicide to my dreams is suicide to your reality. So make that so keen, like vodka with the code in. I sure that was mad, you see me? Yeah, that sure that was mad. The energy in the crowd was amazing. Like, it was crazy. We can't exaggerate enough. You get me? I'm like... Is this the first tour? Yeah, first yeah. tour. First tour and I'm selling out venues and shit. That was awesome. Up to 5,000 people. I did a festival with the high, like over 10,000 people, and the vibes was mad. They received me so well. Pretty video them from my Instagram. I haven't posted a lot yet, but they're coming. Easy me. I shit that was mad. Shit that was awesome. Like, awesome. Easy me. It's the most busy I've been with performing. Easy me. Yeah, like back to back shows and team. Easy me. They really appreciate music and sound and they love Jamaicans. So lucky. Three o'clock in the cold breeze. I've been show before my rolling. Dedication of the goal key. Preparation and proper time. So I'm naturally humble and plus I smoke weed. <laughs> but sometimes I'm like, fuck. Mother boss, if I did I tell your daughter what I know if it suck. Or find a bag of rhyme about how the gun them a boss. And then this a veteran producer forget a buzz. That cliche. Now the time for that my rather stay the same. And pave the lane for other creatives will stay the same. And change the game from Sega Genesis to Xbox 666 and play Matrix. Bang bang. <laughs>